Hi there, Dave Keller here with Market Misbehavior. When I interview people, I love to ask them what their one chart would be, and that is, if you had one chart, just one chart, besides just a regular chart of the S&P 500, to give you a good read on the overall market environment, what would it be and why? So here's my one chart for today. So my one chart for today uses the uh, Zweig Breadth Thrust Indicators. It's named after Marty Zweig and uh, basically is a different way of thinking about breadth. Essentially, this is looking for when stocks are beaten down when the breadth has been weak and then it reverses to be fairly positive fairly quickly. Um, this is on stock charts. The uh, essentially looks at the uh, number of advancers, the number of stocks closing up on the day on the New York Stock Exchange relative to the total number of stocks. So it's the percent of stocks that are going higher and it takes a 10 day exponential moving average of that uh, daily breadth reading. And that's the green line that you see on the chart. And essentially what this indicator looks at is when the breadth is weak, meaning when it goes below 0.4, using that calculation, so less than 40%. And again, the green is that exponential moving average. And then once it goes back above that 0.4 re, re, uh, level, and then gets above the 0.61 level in 10 days or less, 10 trading days, so two trading weeks. So essentially, this is a breadth that's relatively weak, and then it quickly turns around and becomes sort of more positive. We're uh, you know, about 60-plus uh, percent of stocks are now back above on that smoothed-out uh, value. So looking at the last year, you can see that this obviously has not happened very often, and the main reason is because the breadth has not been negative. If you look back, it's rare that the breadth has even touched that lower end of the, uh, of the level. So if we back up the chart a little further, go back 20 years, for example, so I guess this is my two charts, to be honest. But if you go back 20 years, you can see that this has happened a handful of times. So going back over the last 20 years, this indicator has been triggered uh, about six times. Most of the time, uh, we have led into a, uh, a bull market move of some sort. I would say 100% of the time, a year later, uh, the market has been stronger. Um, in a couple of the instances, so for example, in 2004, again in 2015, this was earlier on in the, uh, in the pullback. So there was a rally, a subsequent pullback, but then again, resolved to the upside. But most of the times, this was the beginning of uh, a deeper, uh, further move uh, going higher. The most recent time was after the uh, December 18 market low. When the market rallied, we got the breath thr uh, thrust buy signal and we continued on for the next uh, eight or nine months. So overall, that is suggesting, uh, and again, it hasn't triggered yet, but what it's suggesting is uh, we are starting to line up with some of those previous, you know, heavy thrust higher out of a weakened breadth environment. We are not quite there where the, the reading is above 0.61, but that's why it's my one chart right now, is if and when it would trigger above there, you would start to make comparisons to these previous cycles where, again, six to 12 months down the road, you would have been pretty happy being a buyer there. This is Dave Keller from Market Misbehavior. Be safe. Thanks so much.